Sutra, Disciples of the Buddha. What is the Bodhisattva Mahasattva's treasury of learning? These Bodhisattvas know that because some phenomena exist, other phenomena exist. That because some phenomena do not exist, other phenomena do not exist. That because some phenomena arise, other phenomena arise. That because some phenomena cease to be. Other phenomena cease to be, whether they are mundane dramas, transcendental dramas, conditioned dramas, unconditioned dramas, determinate dramas, or indeterminate dramas. What are the phenomena which exist? Because other phenomena exist. For instance, activity exists because ignorance exists. Commentary: When the Bodhisattva Forest of Merit and Virtue had finished talking about the treasury of remorse, he called out, he called out once again, "Disciples of the Buddha, what is the Bodhisattva Mahasattva's treasury of learning? What is this treasury of learning that the great Bodhisattvas cultivate? These Bodhisattvas who cultivate the ten inexhaustible treasuries know that." Because some phenomena exist, other phenomena exist. This will be discussed in more detail. But it means, for instance, knowing that when ignorance exists, it conditions activity, so there comes to be activity. The Bodhisattva knows that because some phenomena do not exist, other phenomena do not exist. When some particular matter doesn't exist, then some other specific matter doesn't exist either. They know that because some phenomena arise, other phenomena arise. They know that when there are certain causal conditions, then certain phenomena come into being. Arising as a result of those causal conditions, they know that because some phenomena cease to be, other phenomena cease to be. That is, when one particular matter is still and extinguished. And another is thereby still and extinguished. They know this about them, whether they are mundane dramas or transcendental dramas. These may be dramas of the world or world transcending dramas. They may be innate, conditioned dramas, or unconditioned dramas. Yet in which there is nothing not conditioned. They they may be reckonable. Determinate dramas, or they may be neutral, unreckonable, indeterminate dramas. What are the phenomena which exist? Because other phenomena exist. What is meant by some specific events existing due to the existence of other specific events? For instance, activity exists because ignorance exists. Because of the ignorance innate within each person, there is activity, a kind of behavior or action. Sutra: What are phenomena which do not exist because other phenomena do not exist? For instance, name and form do not exist when consciousness do, does not exist. What are phenomena which arise because other phenomena arise? For instance. Suffering arises because emotional love arises. What are phenomena which cease to be because other phenomena cease to be? For instance, birth ceases to be when becoming ceases to be. What are mundane dramas? They are, for instance, form, feeling, thinking, activity, and consciousness. What are transcendental dramas? They are, for instance, precepts. Samadhi and wisdom, liberation and liberation of knowledge and views. What are conditioned dramas? They are, for instance, the realm of desire, the form realm, the formless realm, and the realm of living beings. What are unconditioned dramas? They are, for instance, emptiness, nirvana, the extinction involving reckoning of conditions, the extinction not involving reckoning of conditions. Arising from conditions and dwelling in the dharma nature. What are the determinate dharmas? They are, for instance, the four holy truths, the four fruits of a、uh, shramana, the four eloquences, the four fearlessnesses, the four applications of mindfulness, the four right efforts, the four spiritual fulfillments, the five rules, 
the five powers, the seven shares of enlightenment, and the eight sagely way shares. What are inter indeterminate dramas? They are, for instance, where the worlds are bounded, where the worlds are boundless, where the worlds are both bounded and boundless, where the worlds are neither bounded or boundless, where the worlds are permanent, where the worlds are impermanent, where the worlds are both permanent and impermanent, where the worlds are neither permanent nor impermanent, where the thus commons exist after extinction. Where the thirst commons do not exist after extinction, where the thirst commons both exist and do not exist after extinction, where the thirst commons neither exist nor do not exist after extinction, where the self and living beings exist, where the self and living beings do not exist, where the self and living beings both exist and do not exist. Whether a self and living beings neither exist nor do not exist, how many parinivanas of thirst come ones, and how many parinivanas of sound hearers and pratika buddhas have there been in the past? How many buddhas, sound hearers, pratika buddhas, and living beings will there be in the future? How many buddhas, sound hearers, pratika buddhas, and living beings are there at present? Which thirst commons first appeared in the world? Which sound hearers and pratika buddhas first appeared in the world? Which living beings first appeared in the world? Which will be the last thirst commons to dwell in the world? Which will be the last sound hearers and pratika buddhas to appear in the world? Which will be the last living beings to dwell in the world? Which drama first came to be, and which drama will be the last? Where do worlds come from, and to what places will worlds go? How many world systems have arisen, and how many world systems have been destroyed? Where have world systems come from, and where do they go to? What is the boundary of before birth and death, and what is the boundary of after birth and death? These are called indeterminate dramas. Commentary: What are phenomena which do not exist? Because other phenomena do not exist. For instance, name and form do not exist when consciousness does not exist. The non-existence of consciousness implies the non-existence of name and form. Because if there is no consciousness, there can be no name and form. The very existence of consciousness implies the existence of ignorance. And because of ignorance, there is activity and action. Ignorance just means not understanding, not being clear. What is not understanding is just dropping upside down, giving rise to delusion, creating karma, and undergoing retribution. All of these arise from ignorance. Because you don't understand, you become turned upside down. Being upside down, you do upside down things and have done them. All other sorts of things manifest. That's knowing. That because some phenomena exist, other phenomena exist. Now the text asks, what are phenomena that do not exist? Because other phenomena do not exist. When one thing doesn't exist, another doesn't exist either. Again, this is referring to consciousness. If you did not have consciousness, there wouldn't be any name and form. If you don't even have consciousness, how could there be a material form or name? But because you have one thought of ignorance, then comes a kind of upside down sexual activity, and sexual activity creates consciousness. If consciousness didn't exist, then name and form would never come into being. There would be no such thing as the womb. Name and form. What are phenomena which arise because other phenomena arise? For instance, suffering arises because emotional love arises. What do we mean when we say because one affair arises, another arises? It means that when the causal conditions of love arise, then there is suffering. You think that love or craving is happiness, but within happiness is the root cause of suffering. What are phenomena that cease to be because other phenomena cease to be? What is meant when we say that when one matter is extinguished, others are extinguished? For instance, 
birth ceases to be when becoming ceases to be the extinction of exi uh, existence in turn extinguishes birth if there is no existence then there is no coming into being no birth and no production this is talking about the 12 links of conditioned co-production the 12 links ignorance conditions karmic activity which conditions consciousness which conditions name and form which conditions six entrances which conditions contact which conditions feeling which conditions love which conditions grasping which conditions having which conditions birth which conditions old age and death if everything within that 12 fold chain is extinguished then they are all gone what are mundane dharmas? What is meant by worldly dharmas? They are, for instance, form, feeling, thinking, activity, and consciousness. The five skandhas are all worldly dharmas. What are transcendental dharmas? They are, for instance, precepts, samadhi, wisdom, liberation, and liberation of knowledge and views. The fragrance of precepts, the fragrance of samadhi, the fragrance of wisdom, the fragrance of liberation, and the fragrance of the liberation of knowledge and views. The five-fold dharma body are transcendental dharmas. What are conditioned dharmas? They are, for instance, existence in the realm of design, existence in the form realm, existence in the formless realm, and existence in the realm of living beings. The desire realm, form realm, and formless realm make up the triple realm in which the realm of living beings revolves. They are all conditioned dramas, dramas that are bound to some sort of characteristic or activity. What are unconditioned dramas? They are, for instance, emptiness, nirvana, the extinction involving reckoning of conditions, the extinction not involving reckoning of conditions, arising from conditions and dwelling in the drama nature. What are unconditioned dramas? There are empty space, nirvana extinction brought about through the reckoning of conditions, extinction not brought about through such reckoning, arising from conditions and dwelling in the Dharma nature. What are determinate dramas? They are, for instance, the four holy truths, the four fruits of a sramana, the four eloquences, the four fearlessnesses the four applications of mindfulness, the four right efforts, the four spiritual fulfillments, also called the four bases of, as you will, psychic powers, the five rules, the five powers, the seven shares of enlightenment, and the eight sagely way shares. What are determinate dramas? They include the four holy truths, suffering, accumulation, extinction, the way. The four fruits of a sramana, srota panna, sakri dangamin, anagamin, ahat. The four unobstructed eloquences, phrasing, meaning, dramas, delight in speaking. The four fearlessnesses, the fearlessness of all wisdom, the fearlessness of speaking dharma, the fearlessness of speaking about dharmas which obstruct the way. The fearlessness of speaking Dharma, which leads to the end of the path of suffering. The four applications of mindfulness. The body contemplated as impure. Feelings contemplated as suffering. Thoughts contemplated as impermanent. Dharmas contemplated as without a self. Everyone should cultivate these four applications of mindfulness. Determinate dramas also include the four right efforts, putting an end to existing evil, preventing evil that hasn't arisen from arising, bringing forth goodness not yet brought forth, developing goodness that has already arisen. The four bases of spiritual power, zeal, vigor, mindfulness, thought, the five rules, faith, vigor, mindfulness, samadhi, wisdom. The five powers, faith, vigor, mindfulness, samadhi, wisdom. The five rules and the five powers in name are the same because they have the direct relationship of cause and effect. First, you cultivate the five rules and they form the basis 
or the root of that power derived in cultivation. For example, you cultivate the root of faith and it becomes the basis for the power of the faith after you have perfected its cultivation. Next come the seven shares of enlightenment or the seven body shares, selecting a dharma, vigil, joy, elimination, renunciation, samadhi. Then there are the eight sagely way shares, proper views, proper thought, proper speech, proper livelihood, proper action or karma, proper vigil, proper samadhi, proper wisdom. These are all determinate dharmas. What are indeterminate dharmas? They are, for instance, where the walls are bounded, where the walls are boundless, where the walls are both bounded and boundless, where the walls are neither bounded or boundless, where the walls are permanent, where the walls are impermanent, where the walls are both permanent and impermanent, where the walls are neither permanent or impermanent, where the first commons exist after extinction, whether thus commons do not exist after extinction, whether thus commons both exist and do not exist after extinction, whether thus commons neither exist nor do not exist after extinction, whether a self and living beings exist, whether a self and living beings do not exist, whether a self and living beings both exist and do not exist, whether a self and living beings neither exist nor do not exist. How many Parinivana of thus commons and how many Parinivana of self hearers and Pratika Buddhas have there been in the past? How many Buddhas thus commons have entered Parinivana in the past? How many self hearers and Pratika Buddhas have entered Nirvana? How many Buddhas, self hearers, Pratika Buddhas and living beings will there be in the future? In the future, how many Buddhas, how many self hearers, Pratika, Pratika Buddhas and living beings will there be? How many Buddhas and how many self hearers, Pratika Buddhas and living beings are there at present? Now in the present, how many Buddhas are dwelling and how many self hearers, Pratika Buddhas and living beings are dwelling? which first commons first appeared in the world, which South hearers and Pratika Buddhas first appeared in the world, which living beings first appeared in the world, which Buddha was first to appear, which South hearer and Pratika Buddha were first to appear in the world, which living being was the first to appear, which will be the last first common to dwell in the world, which will be the last sound hearers and Pratika Buddhas to dwell in the world, which will be the last living beings to dwell in the world, which thus commons will be the last to appear, which sound hearers and Pratika Buddhas will be the last to appear, which living beings will be the last to appear, which Dharma first came to be and which Dharma will be the last, which Dharma was the was at the very beginning and which Dharma will be at the very end. Where did worlds come from and to what places will worlds go? Where did the worlds come from and where do they go? How many world systems have arisen and how many world systems have been destroyed? How many worlds are there? How many have been created? How many have been destroyed? Where have world systems come from and where do they go to? Where did the world systems, all the universes, come from and where are they going? What is the boundary of before birth and death? And what, what is the boundary of after birth and death? What is the very first limit of birth and death? And what will be the very last point of birth and death? These are called indeterminate dramas. These are what are known as indeterminate dramas. The Bodhisattva Mahasattvas cultivate them. And so, there are something that the Bodhisattvas should know. Sutra, the Bodhisattva Mahasattvas have this thought, all living beings in the midst of birth and death like learning and cannot understand all these dramas. They, I should resolve to uphold the treasury of learning and become certified to Anuttara Samyak Sambodhi and for the sake of living beings speak true and actual dharma. 
This is called the Bodhisattva Mahasattva's fifth treasury, that of learning. Commentary above many kinds of dramas were discussed. About these, the Bodhisattva Mahasattvas have this thought. The great Bodhisattvas among Bodhisattvas reflect, and this is what they think. All living beings in the midst of birth and death lack learning and cannot understand all these dramas. All living creatures are the are in the turning wheel of birth and death. They revolve in the six paths of birth, where they come and go back and forth, in the bitter sea of birth and death. They do not have the wisdom of learning, of erudition. And are unable to understand the dramas which were just discussed, determinate dramas, indeterminate dramas, conditioned dramas, unconditioned dramas, worldly dramas, transcendental dramas, and so forth. They don't understand them. I should resolve to uphold the treasury of learning and become certified to Anuttara Samyak Sambodhi. And for the sake of living beings, speak true and natural dharma. They don't understand, and so it is up to me to now resolve to cultivate and uphold the dharma treasury of much learning, and certify to a new Tara Samyak Sambodhi. I shall certify to the attainment of unsurpassed, right and equal, proper enlightenment, the fruit of Buddhahood. And for the sake of all living beings, is bound. The true and actual wonderful dharma. This is called the Bodhisattva Mahasattva's fifth treasury, that of learning. This is what is known as the fifth treasury, the treasury of learning, which is cultivated by the Bodhisattva who is among great Bodhisattvas.